I'm a microbiologist and I study the bacteria, fungi, and viruses, the unseen life on our planet Earth. The average human is a very tactile creature. We touch everything. And so burden is the bacteria that are on everything we interact with. We have to have the good bugs and the bad bugs in the right ratios. And so it's up to the designer to talk to the microbiologist to figure out this balance. And so we discovered this in the hospital. When you control burden, we were able to cut the hospital-associated infection rate by 58%. So thinking about the workplace, how do you keep people well? The answer is you understand what they do. And so when we looked at our spaces in the change from owned workspaces to shared workspaces, there are some common touch points. Those high contact areas are usually related to a higher bio load. And so by targeting those specific areas, we can reduce the probability of getting sick. So one of the technologies that we've been exploring in material innovation are antimicrobial materials. And the current way to address that, which meets our sustainability aspirations, is through silver ion. Silver ion is a well-known technology. We use a very small fraction of it in many different kinds of materials to great effect. We've targeted worker touch points on the product. So those being the soft edge on the front, the height adjust controls, and then power access. A longer term technology is mimicking shark skin. The physical texture creates an inhospitable environment for the bacteria to adhere to and so they die out. So there's a real science behind antimicrobial technologies in balancing not only the technologies but the ability to translate those technologies to products, the manufacturing, the sustainability, and the worker needs. We aspire that a person would leave work feeling better than they came to work. That we create uh, work environments that support well-being, both physically, mentally, and biologically. And one of those pathways is through antimicrobial materials. <laughs>